Hey, what's up? It's your boy Norris. Welcome back to another episode of Doing Shit. Now, if you haven't um, seen any of my previous episodes, Doing Shit is a, um, I guess, a bunch of episodes that I just do stuff around the house. And I encourage other guys to do it for their significant other, your wife, your girlfriend, um, anyone you're dating, just um, so they know that you still know how to do shit. Because sometimes, say it with me, sometimes they forget. All right, so today I'm going to be installing my barn door. Uh, this was custom built by a guy named Chris. Um, I can link his contact below and um, you can get some custom pieces if you want some from him. And I got a kit from, I think my wife ordered it from Wayfair. Not sure what the actual company is, but um, it came with a manual. And the, and the manual is very vague, so this is gonna be a little frustrating for me to do. So let's see if I can get it done. Um, yeah, let's get it. So looking at the instructions right here, um, I think it tells me to place this long bar up first, but I have to find studs in the wall because I can't hang it on drywall because they just come down and I don't want that, that's gonna be goofy. So we're gonna need to find the studs. So luckily I have a stud finder. You can get this from Home Depot, Lowe's, any, um, I guess, hardware store. Okay, so basically when you put it on the wall, you wanna pinch in both sides, and then you wanna slide it horizontal. Boom, now this is a stud. So now what I do is I mark here, and then I just keep going to find all the rest of them. Okay, so I went ahead and I made my markings for where all the studs are. And next, I'm gonna go ahead and put these right here on the door. Now, but before I do that, I need to know where to place it on the door at the top. So I didn't put the rod up yet. So this right here is the rod. And then it's gonna, and you take this part and you just put it here and that's where you get the rolling part. So if you see my finger right here, I'm gonna give myself just a little, maybe like right there, cause I don't want the door brushing up against the pole. So I'm probably gonna do that. And then we're gonna mark it. Let's see. I'm gonna mark it right there. Now I have two of these. So I'm gonna grab the other one and mark the exact same place. And then I'm gonna start drilling holes on the door to put this in place. All right, so I have my, I guess, what would I call this, like a rod or something? So we'll put this right here. Okay, find a good place. I think this is gonna be good. So I'm gonna mark, get right about there. On both sides. And then once I make sure it's straight, I'm gonna go ahead and mark right in the center of the circles. Now this is what I'm gonna be drilling at. And then we'll do the other side right here. And that should be right there. Now you have to be very careful to put them in the exact same place because you don't want your door leaning. You know what I'm saying? It'll be goofy. There we go. Now, before you start drilling, you want to get a measuring tape and just double check and measure where from the top to the first one and then the top from the second one. And then you wanna do the same thing on the other side and make sure they're both the same. And then we're going to drill. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my drill and drill into my new custom door. I'm nervous as hell. Oh, that was easy. Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than that. <laughs> That was pretty easy, it's a good drill. Um, now I have to, like this has to go inside of it, so I have to make the hole a little bigger. Okay. And I just went around the circle just to get it a little bigger. 
Mm. Maybe just a little bit more. Yeah, I think that'll work. So now you wanna do the other one the exact same way. All right, so if you look right here, I went ahead and put my studs in. So now, let me set this right there so you can see it. There we go. I don't have a camera person today. Everybody's occupied in the house. So I'll put that on here. Uh-oh. Damn it. Hmm. Let me see if I can fix this. So I'm gonna take my hammer and go in a little bit and then bring this one down. Let's see if that helped. Hmm. Let me unscrew them a little bit. So I went ahead and um, I put them in. Let me undo them. All right, so I did one right now. And where is my... So I'm gonna go ahead and place this here, like this. So now I'm going to see if I can screw it in for it to be in the right place. Oh, oh it's working. Ew. Look at that, you see that right there? Nice, that's how you do it. So now, one second. So I'm gonna take the washer and put that first like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put on this. And now I'm just gonna tighten it up a little bit. Nice. Oh. Now I gotta do the other one. Okay, so if you look at that, it's all on. And then next, all I have to do is um, um, line up my rod with all the studs in the wall and then drill into there so I can hold that up and then just hang it up. Okay, so the next step, since I have both of these right here on, you want to get your door and lay it flat against the wall. And then wherever the bottom of this wheel is, you want to just move it up, maybe like a half inch, because you don't want that much room on the floor. So maybe just a little bit, and then that's where you're going to put the rod to hang it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, now I grab a leveler and a yardstick and a pencil. So I'm gonna come up here. So this was the mark where I'm going to place my bar. So I'm gonna put that right there. And then I'm gonna put my leveler on top of this. And I'm just going to move it until you see that little air bubble. Boom, once the little air bubble get to the middle, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little dotted line across. Okay, so I'm gonna take my drill and make the first hole in the wall where my stud is. So um, just so you know, this is the bar, right? So I'm going to measure the center of the circle to the top. That's uh, three fourths of an inch. So I'm gonna measure three fourths of an inch below the line that I, my guiding line. And then I'm gonna drill where my circle is where the stud is, okay? <clears throat> Oh, dang it. 
in the gap. There's no line, so I have to put a line right there. There we go. I want to be precise. I got a yardstick because a yardstick is flatter. Boom. One, two, three. That's three fourths. All right. Now drilling. I pray that this is a stud. It is. All right. So we did that. So this fat screw can go in. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab my washer. Put it on, and now I'm gonna put this up right here. So this is gonna be a little challenging to do because I'm by myself right now. So I don't have a um an electric machine to screw it in. So this is what I'm gonna use right here. Maybe go into the wall. Okay, now that we have it in just a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and drill another stud the same exact way. All right, so I made a mistake. This right here is supposed to go between the wall and my rod. So, we place this where the hole is. And then you put the screw through it. Do you want me to get up and hold it? I can still do the camera. All right, so that goes in between the wall and the stud. All right, so now I have it in place. Now I can go ahead and screw it into the wall. Okay, like I said before, I'm not gonna go all the way in the wall yet because I got to do the rest of them. And um, let me see. Yeah, so this right here helps because it gives separation from the wall so it can roll. If I had it flat on the wall, it wouldn't even hang. So you don't want to um, put it up without using that little piece right there. All right, so let me just let y'all know, cause I'm gonna keep it real. You don't want to screw in too close because it's gonna push into the drywall. Even though it's on the stud, the drywall is not that heavy. And I, you, know, you see that circle indention? I went too far cause I was just screwing in, I forgot. Um, well, I wasn't realizing how close I was. So this is the first one that did that. The other one wasn't like that. So I'm gonna just be careful not to screw in too much. Okay, so I went ahead and put all of my studs in. Um, well, all of my screws into the studs. This was the only one that didn't have a stud, so it kind of worked out perfect because all the rest of them has it, and all the weight is gonna be shifted this way and not on this end. But, only thing I got left is the stoppers. Now, if I put the door on and I roll it, and there's no way to stop, this is gonna keep going. <laughs> so these right here are little stoppers. So basically what you do is, you wanna slide it in, and my door, stops about right about right there okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set it up right there and then screw this in these are a little, a little allen wrench that comes with the um the kit okay now that's secure it's gonna prevent the door from rolling off now i gotta do this to the other side this side right here it's a little different because I'm gonna need my door to stop a little bit sooner. So I had to take one of the studs off, which sucks, but it allows me to slide this in past the stud. Now I just put it back. All right, y'all, the moment of truth. I'm about to hang this sucker up on the wall and hopefully it don't fall down.
with no hands. <laughs> hey. Okay, let's see the stop. Yep, it stopped. In here. Oh no. Okay, so so come here. So it stopped there. And there's a gap on this side. So what that means is I have to take that and slide it over a little bit. Slide it over a little bit so it can prevent it from going all the way. Let me fix that real quick and I'll be done. All right, I fixed it. Everything works. So boom, stops. This way, stops. And then there's no gap on either sides. All right, I'm all done. That's how you put up a barn door kit. All right, fellas, remember, sometimes you have to do stuff around the house to let your significant other know you still know how to do shit. All right, thanks for watching another episode of Doing Shit, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.